विल स्टार्ट विद द नेक्स्ट क्लास फॉर साइकोलॉजी पेपर थी जनवरी 2017 सॉल्यूशंस क्वेश्चंस 26 टू 50 now the first question talks about the Torrance test for creative in, uh, thinking and it focused on five basic aspects. Those were originality, elaboration, fluency, abstraction and the resistance to the uh, premature closing. So these are the five things that were included. So you have A, B and C as the correct option. So four would be the correct answer here. Next question. The fear of one's own potential greatness and the ambivalent feeling towards greatness in others is known as Jana complex. Now this is the direct definition for what is Jana complex. Now next, pituitary gland is referred to as master gland. Why? Because it is the major gland which uh, provides or which uh, relates hormones to the other glands. As a result, those are the tropic hormones. So there are two types of hormones, tropic and non-tropic. Tropic are the ones where one gland provides it to the other gland in non-tropic you have uh, the gland directly providing to the target or the cell so pituitary is the gland that produces both tropic and non-tropic hormones it's mainly the tropic hormones as a result it is known as the master gland because it controls the functioning of the other glands of the body so you have both the correct statements and reason as a correct explanation for the assertion Next question, you have to match the variables with their explanations. So you have conformity. Conformity talks about the social behavior which is influenced when the individual changes their attitude to go along with the existing norms. So that is what is conformity. Then you have compliance that is social influence involving direct requests from others. Intense indoctrination that talks about the process in which member of the extreme group accept the beliefs and the rules of un in an unquestioning way. So whatever is said is directly believed or directly accepted by the group. So that is known as intense intox uh, indoctrination. The next is social norms. Those are the rules that indicate how an individual is expected to behave in a certain situation. Next question. Cohesiveness and conformity so cohesiveness and conformity talks about accepting influences of those as we like uh, norms and social influence talks about social influence based on individuals desire to be liked by others then you have individualization that's the need to distinguish oneself from other to create oneself as a unique so that is create an individual identity or individuation then is information and social influence that is social influence based on individual's desire to be correct. So those are the correct matches for this question. Next. Now the degree to which variation in the environment can affect the development of an individual with a particular genotype is known as the reaction range. Now the only confusing thing here was with the canalization. However, canalization talks about that even the, uh, different genotype as well as different phenotype can produce a similar output. For example, different species could lead to formation of one human being. Uh, that was what was the Darwin's theory of evolution. So that is what is canalization. However, here we are talking about reaction range. So reaction range is the degree of variations in the environment which can affect an individual development. Uh, with a particular genotype that is given. Now you have to match the theories and the explanations given by uh, various scholars. So you have Piaget who talked about the transforming, organizing and reorganizing of the previous knowledge in the children's. So you have the social development theory of the Piaget that comes into play. Next is Kohlberg talked about the moral development. So you have uh, children's moral thoughts are advanced through discussions with other, that's the correct option. Bonfire talked about the constructive knowledge by social interaction. And finally, Vygotsky talk about embedded, uh, children are embedded in environmental systems and the environmental systems influence the development of an individual. So these are the correct matches. Now next question, this question you have three groups, that is no drug, low drug and high drug. So you have groups no, low and high and on the other hand you have list of words that is CVC, 
uh, add three letter meaningful word. Now this is a kind of three by two matrix, but the choices here would be either randomized or mixed. So the correct answer here would be mixed because what you are doing here is you have between group analysis and within subject. So this is the analysis within subject and this there would be an analysis between group. So therefore it would be a mixed factorial design and since there are three parameters here and two here it would be a three by two design. So three by two mixed factorial design is the correct answer here. Next question. Teachers need to teach children to use multiple strategies to find out what works well, when and how. Uh, so what is the basic idea here is most of the children do not know uh, how to learn and what technique to use when learning. So teachers provide them multiple strategies and then they see what works well for them. So reason is the correct explanation for the assertion. So both are correct and the reason is the correct explanation. Next question. Now this is the goal setting uh, program and the steps involved. So first you specify the objectives, you define the goal difficulty, you uh, specify the time that you require for the performance and finally discuss the goal attainment strategies. Now this is a very commonly asked question, usually asked in every off and on examination. Now next question, who, uh, who is considered as the father of industrial psychology? So he is Hugo Mun uh, Munsterberg who is considered as the father of industrial uh, psychology or one who created or developed this field. Next question, you have to match the therapies with the correct person or the therapist. So you have systematic desensitization was propounded by Wolf. Wolf. Then you have the social learning that was given by Bandura. You have cognitive theory that was propounded by Beck. And finally, cognitive behavior modification therapy that was given by Michenbaum. So these are the correct matches. Next question, under program learning what you do is you have a set of information and you use small steps to generate feedback and then move on to complete the task. So the correct answer here will, will be programmed learning. Next question, now this question uh, I believe should be a bonus question because all of the choices are correct. Behavior modification by application of operant conditioning consists of. Now under operant conditioning when we talk about behavior modification, we can either modify behavior by positive reinforcement, we can do it by negative reinforcement, punishment is another way. Then uh, there can be cases of extinction where you uh, kind of remove the stimuli, so you remove the television if a child disobeys and finally you have timeout which is a type of positive reinforcement or uh, extinction, uh, positive punishment or I could say extinction where uh, if a child um, is removed from the rest of the class if he or she misbehaves, withdrawal of reinforcement is another mechanism. Then you have token economy. So for every 10 cards that you collect you would be given so and so. So that's an example of token economy. Then you have behavior shaping where you have successive approximations. So all these are types of behavior modification which are applied in operant conditioning. So all of these should be the correct answer. Next question, you have to match the uh, type of learning with the correct definition. So you have to match the learning with the definition. Now the first is observational learning. It's the process where information is acquired by attending the events that happen into the uh, in the environment. Place learning is a learning where an object is located. So I go to the field, I see where the object is and then we start learning. Then is overt and covert. There are two terms. Overt is what is observed by others and covert is what you believe. And finally you have latent learning, learning that takes place independent of the reinforcement. So it is latent or hidden and it is not affected or not uh, modified by the reinforcements that are given. So that's the correct answer. Next question. Now self-determination theory talks about three basic things that are competent re uh, competence, relatedness and autonomy. However, of these two, competence and autonomy 
govern or are the basis for the intrinsic motivation of an individual so the correct answer here would be two that is competence next question you have uh, to match again the correct uh, concept with the definition so there were as you can see lot many questions on definitions this time so fixed action pattern is a stereotype response that assumes genetically programmed reactions that occur in the presence of a particular signal stimuli so that is what is known as the fixed action plan then you have displacement activity when one when two incompatible responses are aroused together or at the same time then individual uh, may display behavior that appear irrelevant in certain situations so that is what is known as the displacement activity then you have hedonic biasness that is one's uh, uh, tendency to take more credit for success than to take responsibilities for failure so if there is anything that uh, succeeds i would say I, I have done this so that is what is hedonic behave, uh, biasness and final, finally you have intrinsic motivation which is an individual state which comes from within and it is a internal satisfaction or internal reward that one tries to provide now next is you have to mention that match the concept with the correct meaning so dazen means individual as being in the world so dazen the worldly meaning for the word dazen itself is uh, being the word uh, being in the world so you have being there or the presence itself is the key so you have dazen as the correct match for this umwelt means the physical or the objective world that exists around you then you have egan world that talks about self awareness and mint world that talks about human interactions next question you have uh, 25 subjects which are categorized under three groups of stress so you have to find out the degree of freedom of stressfulness versus the subject so for stressfulness the degree of freedom would be 3 minus 1 because there are three types of stress and for subjects it would be 25 minus 1 and then you multiply those those so you have 2 into 24 that's 48 so 48 would be the correct answer for this question next most experimental studies of lesion are studied for bilateral rather than unilateral lesions because bilateral behaviors are more easier to understand unilateral lesions are more milder and since they occur only in one part of the brain it's difficult to detect so detection of bilateral lesions is much more easier and simpler as a result most of the studies are done only on the bilateral lesions rather than unilateral lesions so both of these are correct and reason is the correct explanation for this question next question uh this is known as what is uh, what we call as a pro social behavior that means i for example i am working for a company without taking a salary just for the sake that i want to work and i want to gain something or i want to help the uh, motivator so that is what is known as a pro social behavior and that is the definition of what is pro social behavior which is asked Uh, this was a question that was asked in uh, July's examination last year as well. The difference between what one can accomplish with or without help is known as the zone of proximal development. So you have the zone where you can do, the zone of proximal development where you can do with guidance and where you cannot do. So you can do, you can do with guidance and you cannot do. So those are the three zones, and this is the zone of proximal development is the. correct answer for this question next according to edler child uh, birth order is important in shaping the personality so it says that the child who is first born in the family would be more uh, more uh, would have more leadership qualities as compared to the last born and the, there are unique experiences associated with the birth order of every child that is correct because the person the first child would have more responsibilities as compared to the last child in the family and therefore reason ex correctly explains the assertion so one would be the correct answer in this case next question punishment given frequently leads to worry anger and fear that is the correct answer and it's a kind of very direct and simple question and uh, last question 
This is what is the stress vulnerability model and this model suggests that if you have a kind of twin children who are studied, so you have one and one here. Now of these two, one would develop schizophrenia, the other will not and this would depend on the life stress that affect the individual. So you have this concept that was given with the genetic markers have a tendency for physical vulnerability but unless they are exposed to critical times that would not pop out or that would not be visible. So that is what was studied under the stress vulnerability model. So 4 is the correct answer for this question. With this we complete the set of 50 questions. We will be covering the last 50 questions in the next class. You can subscribe to our channel for more updates. Have a good day.